Uh, YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of the season two mid season finale of Walking Dead. Um, they needed to pick it up, and they picked it up. They sent us into the break with um, their best episode since the season premiere, uh, which they had to do. Um, I'll just start at the end of the episode quickly. I'll get back to it later, but um, I was completely wrong. I thought they would have taken all year to find or not find Sophia, and honestly, I thought she'd be alive. Um, so that was a big twofer, or ofer, rather. Ofer 2 for me. Um, and I was really happy about it. Um, and in fact, um, doing that, ending the episode the way they did, almost um, like nullifies basically all the tedious looking for her this season, because now on a rewatch, um, all the moments when they're looking for Sophia, Daryl's little speech with the flower, all of that stuff, we can now know in the back of our mind how it ends. And I think that that gives all that stuff to, all that stuff a lift. So um, great job by them on that. Um, first, I guess let me then okay backtrack a little bit for the rest of the episode. Um, basically, Glenn tells everyone about the walkers in the barn. And they all, you know, kind of spring up, and there's, again, the Rick-Shane side of things. Rick wants to go the easygoing way about it. Shane just wants to go in there and kill them all, and, you know, Shane just... It's basically the same argument they've been having for a while now. Um, and, uh, but... This time, it didn't bother me, because I knew they were going to get to you know, some, some, you know, climax at least by the end of this episode, which is what, again, this show needs. It needs stuff to point to something, at least every episode where we need, you know, not every episode, but we need some things to come to a head, um, you know, every couple of weeks. Um, all right, so basically we have that, um, and just basically, I guess I'll just go through the characters, um, the easiest way about it. Uh, so yeah, so we got like Shane just wants to barge in, um, and he's trying to even get Carl on his side. Um, uh, Shane is just really messed up. He, uh, and then he finds out that Lori's like pregnant and he thinks it's his and she just shuts him down. Really, like, <laughs> not in the kindest way either, basically saying even the baby is his, it's not gonna be. Uh, that's screwed up. Um... Let's see. Uh, Dale, who I love, Jeffrey Demun, uh, great Green Mile in the myth. I think he's a great actor, but Dale's pissing me off. Um, he's just got to stay out of everyone's business uh, and hiding the gun. I know that what he's seen of, of Shane, what we've seen of Shane, kind of tells us, you know, some things about him. But Shane's not gonna, you know, cause harm to Andrea in the sense that he's gonna shoot her over, like, the way he shot Otis or something like that. That's not, you know, that's not how he's gonna go. Um, so Dale, his solution was to hide the guns in the swamp. Like, what an idiot. Like, what? what's the point of that? Thank God Shane was, like, following him. Uh, otherwise we'd really get nowhere. So that was annoying. Um, I like Glenn. I love the, the, I forget her name, the farmer's, uh, daughter. Uh, on top of the fact that she's at the, the, she's the most beautiful woman on the show. Um, I think she's the best character. She's the one, at least, Lori, Carol, Andrea, uh, huh, Sophia, and, um, and her, really, were the only female characters, I guess. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so, she's the only one that I actually like, because I like her and Glenn together, and I like how they were to, able to come to, like, understandings and everything like that. Um, so all that was good. What else? The conversation between Rick and the um, the the farmer, the guy that owns the farm. I, I don't know his name. I can't think of his name right now. Like that, it was just it was well done. The like everything felt like it had a more of a purpose this week, or just had a, a, a not even a quicker pace. Just like it, it, I guess, yeah, more of a purpose. Everything just felt like it was leading towards something in this episode because we knew it was the mid-season finale, so it was gonna. Something was going to happen. Uh, what else? I think there's another character I can get to before I get to the end of the episode. Or something else that happened. 
I don't know. I mean, Daryl and, and, and Carol are had a little, like, possible romance thing going on, maybe. Which, I guess, in this world, you gotta pair up with somebody, eventually. Uh, T-Dog did nothing again. Um, well, he did something at the end of the episode, but nothing... He's done absolutely nothing. They give him zero to do these first seven episodes. Just, just zero. Um, but, uh... Alright, I will get to the end of the episode where they blow down every, they mow everyone down in the barn uh, Shane opens it up and uh, I mean bringing the zombies in with the hook is ridiculous I'm with Shane on the fact that those people had to be put down there's no good of keeping them in there uh, but I actually feel bad for them not Herschel that's his name I feel bad for Herschel as they were getting mowed down but they even tried to make you feel bad for the zombies a little bit as they were getting just shot one after another um, yeah, but, uh, when there was that one zombie left, I knew it was Sophia, and I was just like, oh, man, that's rough. That's, that's rough stuff. And th those, like, last, like, five minutes, um, I think would probably be my second favorite scene of the series behind the scene in the pilot with the bicycle girl and, um, and uh, and the, the black guy's name who couldn't shoot his wife. That scene of the pilot was still the best. I think it's still the best scene of the series. But this gave it a run. Gave it a run for for its money. In fact, those five minutes, um, coupled with stuff in the premiere, and maybe stuff in I think the third episode this uh, this season, really I think shows how good the show can be. Because those moments are like Emmy moments. Those are like just great, great television, great storytelling, just really, really well done. They just have to basically take that, bottle it, and kind of like sprinkle it throughout an entire season. Which, you know, this was only episode 13 of the whole series. you, you got to give them some time to, uh, to get things together. Um, but, uh, yeah, they, they also they got to get off the farm. I know, like, we're going to have to deal with the aftermath when they come back, but it really it can't be longer than an episode. It's got to be one episode and they got to be out of there. I don't want three episodes of them at the farm again. That that would just kill this momentum completely. Um, so I guess at the midway point, what kind of rating would be correct for this season? I mean, I would give like the first like three episodes like an A minus, uh, and this episode like an A. But then those episodes four, five, and six were just kind of really dull and everything. So I'd probably go to like a B for this mid season, um, with the potential to get better. Uh, I hope it gets better. At least it gets a little... I mean, we'll see, because Darabont, I think, is officially like off the show at this point as far as the, the episodes go. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what how, what how it goes when they come back in, um, in February, which isn't really that long of a wait. Um, but, uh, yeah. I guess that's all I got. Um, let me know what you thought of it, and... I won't be doing this show next week. I obviously until February. I'll probably do some some other stuff, some more like movie stuff and, and like that. I'll still be doing Dexter until uh, until that's done. Might do some Game of Thrones stuff because uh, there's been some pretty good like news about them. Uh, but we'll see. All right, guys. Later.